everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Dark Cloud. Kind of just cruising through the levels at this point until something special happens because we need to get lots of stuff before we can start building. I think last episode I tried to use ice instead of thunder in the beginning for some reason because I was like, if it's water, if it's fish, if you freeze it, it dies. But uh, yeah, lightning kind of makes more sense. I three shot things and it's nice. There's lots of stuff in here so I figured I'd just start in here. But we're probably just gonna quickly advance ahead and, until we can get some kind of special event here. Chimney. Because until you hit those, there's not really a terrible lot that goes on. The enemies are going to change, because we're going to get new enemies as the levels go on, but... It's not really that drastic of a difference. People be slamming doors. And we're apparently getting all of the stores now. If we could just get people to man them. Push cart with fish again. Actually, wouldn't this be even better? If we just had everybody's stuff, but they weren't there, there would be no one to stop us from taking it all. King, you know what I just noticed? Are these actual lights? Like, is this electricity at the bottom of the ocean? Is there a generator? I mean, that would kind of make sense, the spinning... I'm trying to turn around here. Thank you. This thing being powered by electricity would make more sense, but like, this don't really look like fires to me. I thought they were just lanterns the whole time. I suppose it doesn't really matter, but it's still something that I noticed. Sunshade. Also, I said Krabby before. It was like Shelmer or something. I don't know why I said Krabby. Krabby is red and, and, and definitely not a, a, a seashell thing. The experience buildup for beating these guys is actually pretty intense. Okay, why did that four shot him last night but didn't today? You know what? I think it was because those things were pumped up with energy if I remember right. Was it the shellfish I was using those on? Because we just totally two shot that thing. I like, as the inventory expands, how much more control we have over things. Like, I know we're supposed to be switching between people, so weapons shouldn't be breaking that often. But it's like, look at how much repair powder I have on me. And I've got ten more free slots. So it's like, I could just keep using the same weapon, like, pretty much indefinitely, as long as I have this stuff. Which is what I did in the previous times I played this game. Which is why I got, like, I think it was just called the Claymore or something, but in, like, the sixth world, the second to last one... I fully upgraded, or I don't know, if it wasn't one of the last weapons, it was like the second to last weapon, because I, I built it up quite a few times, but I hit a rock monster right after I got the thing, and I broke it, and because I just kept fusing all of my other weapons into it, Tone, who was my by far the strongest, had to go back to the beginning, like the basic dagger which hadn't leveled up a single time. So I'm like, how do you go from having Excalibur to just like some random dagger? It was painful, but I grew stronger because of it. Not really, actually, I got a lot weaker and it was pretty awful for a long time after that, but I still beat the final boss and that's all that matters. Fire gems. How many of these things did I get that I don't have to buy? Yeah, it... Actually, I guess it wouldn't be very obvious, but, um... Basically, the reason why these things are really useful... ...is because of the boss of this dungeon. The boss of this dungeon, without spoiling who or what it is, basically relies pretty heavily on elemental damage. Like, to hurt them, you have to keep constantly switching elements. But there is an exception to that. For some reason, fire gems kind of penetrate their elemental resistances. And they do a lot of damage. I think it's an ice boss. So, needing thunder and other stuff never really made much sense for me to, to me. But, if you land like 15 square bombs on them, you can basically skip all the mechanics of the fight. Which is the reason why you just completely load up on them. And back in the day, I could not beat this boss legitimately, so if I hadn't stumbled into that, would not have beaten him. Thunder Jam. See, I kind of feel like I had to have looked it up 
in order to, uh, I've known that it was Fire Gems in particular, but I don't think I had a computer back then, so I'm kind of curious how I came to the whole Firebomb thing. Because I remember it being Fire Gems in particular and not, like, Thunder Gems or any of the other kind. Also, I just turned down going to a really nice buffet for free so that I could finish getting this up. So you guys have to know that I love you. Joker's house. Krabby. I'm gonna keep calling you Krabby, you're not a crab. Or is it a crab and a shellfish thing? I don't know. I have the key, I'm gonna open it. I had every intention of just running past this stuff and not fighting it, but we were so close to leveling up the weapon, I was like, yeah, screw it. So if I remember right, we put bird stuff in here. We put bird stuff in here. And more lightning stuff in here. Now I'm gonna upgrade the stuff in here. And now that stuff in there, it's part of the sword. I didn't think so. With my luck, it's probably 35. Realistically though, I'm thinking 40. Because it seems to go up by thresholds of 10, at least from what I've noticed. I mean, I guess plants could have been 31, but at 28, plant was not done. Zhao! Due to mysterious force, Zhao was summoned. No other characters are available here. That's actually a lot scarier now that I think about it, because you can't use stand-in powder because only Zhao can be here. And you can't use revival powder because... How could Zhao revive herself after she died? And she was one shot last time. Wait a minute. Steve. Does not do as much damage as the bandit slingshot. Did you have. Were you the lightning element? Nope. It never ceases to amaze me how some things around here just don't change. I've got four dogs now. Uh, two rat terriers, one half rat terrier, half chihuahua, and one just chihuahua. The chihuahua is the most recent addition. And, uh, whenever my mom goes into a room, because they follow her around, because she doesn't work, so they're with her every minute of every day, pretty much. She walks into a room, they all walk into the room with her, she walks out of the room and closes the door, and there's always at least one that doesn't get the message and stays in the room and gets locked. So then I gotta go and let him out. I just think it's kind of silly that, like, it's been going on for this many, like, decades at this point, and that they aren't used to the routine. It's been pretty great, though. This has actually been going pretty good. I just repaired her weapon, and we've still got seven more. When you steal from Mimics, they give you repair powders, so I basically refunded all of the repair powders I've used so far. And as you can see, even without Thunder Element, she just tears these things apart. I'm so happy with what Zhao is. Like, I used to have- I used to dread playing her, but it's like, man, you're so much better than Goro. I don't care if it's a curse, because we don't intend to switch weapons. I don't care if it's poison, because I have a lot of antidotes. I'd rather not take damage if possible, so we're gonna guess this one. And we win. Hard shooter? 35. No special effect. And it looks like it's good at rocks and steel. Eh. I mean, for a starting slingshot, it's not that bad. Bandit slingshot's amazing, though. You know what? I'm gonna repair you, even though I don't have to. Mimic? Really? Wow, they were both explosions? A magical hammer. Is that actually, like, a good weapon for Goro? Oh wait, Goro has the axe. That's actually amazing. And it's durable, too. I could probably break this thing down and put it in there, then. This has a lot of elements. 30 fire, 30 holy, 20 ice, 15 thunder, 5 wind. Mimic and, and mage hunter, for the most part. Not bad. I might get that to five and then just stick it in the battle axe. Is the battle axe already maxed? It's not. It's not the easiest thing to hit a mimic because it hops over your bullets, but if you time it, see look, there's the repair powder. 
loot just flies at you. I think it's a limit of one per enemy. From what I can tell anyway, but if you time it, it's not too bad at all. And then she just rapid fire shotguns. Can she hold it down and charge it? Did that actually do more damage? I think that actually did more I'm, It's too full. I have too many. You know what? Eat a banana. I'm too full. It was a pretty safe bet that this wasn't going to be a special floor. Special floor. Considering that uh, the last one was. I don't think they do any of those in a row until the seventh and final dungeon. Final being relative. I think there's some like hundred floor thing after you beat the final boss, but I never touched it. I got trees. I see, so this is the first floor that they're introduced. Not signs, the gyans. And I know already that I can't hit your behind. But I can't hit your side. Oh, maybe you could just stab me for 32. I two shot them. This is okay. We have lots of electricity. We'll barbonate everything. And we found Jack. And I'm pretty sure we got Jack's store. Or is it the Joker's house? We've got a lot of things. Just thinking about it though, I just went to continue the level. And I have full bags. That's probably going to be a reoccurring problem I have. Why don't I just have the general take me to the final boss? Trust the young master. Forever and for always. It's so happy. Please don't be a mimic. You suck. Oh, that's right, and because it's a back room, they are pumped with energy. Wow, he did not care about them. You do not take a lot of damage. Wait a minute. We're doing 66 now. Or 36? Okay. That's better. I was like, did we seriously? Like, my charge attack did less than this? What's wrong with this? Opal. Alright, kind of just running past the mimics at this point. I'll probably stop and kill them afterwards. And a Peridot. An Opal and a Peridot in the same room. That could be pretty awesome. An Emerald. I like Emeralds. I like Emeralds a lot. But do they do things for me? Dinosaurs and plants. You know, I respect that. Does it give me wind? Doesn't give any alone. And if it gives stuff over here, it's uh, stuff we already have maxed. Not terribly useful then, but at the same time, green gives green things. Upgrade. But see, because it was at full, it didn't use the powder. It just used its status stuff. And then the amount it needs goes up by 10 each time, it seems. That's why it's getting ridiculous. Because from the first level up, it's gone up 120 times. 112. It's gone up by 820, I think. I should probably do some inventory management, so I left the dungeon, and I don't know how long this is, because having to stop and stuff. I've been going for about an hour now. Granted, that was a lot of time waiting, but uh, I want to wait on using the buildup powder until I can actually get something to increase my Sky Killer or Sky Slayer, whichever it was, because I want to build this up. Then just put the gems, like, two gems in it immediately. Or if it goes to three, that'd be amazing. Put all three gems we have in it, and then just upgrade it, and the stats go to the moon. I want to see it. It would be satisfying. In the meantime, though, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.